I'm coming. More than two years ago, when we were finishing Last of Us Part Two, and we were working on those flashbacks within that scene for the first game, we got excited with the idea of like, oh man, what if we made The Last of Us Part One to look as good, if not better, than what we have done with Last of Us Part Two, which we really pushed the boundaries of like what we could do from gameplay and a graphical standpoint, and felt like. If we do that, we could actually come even closer to our original vision of what the first game would have been had we not been constrained by technology. The original creative vision of The Last of Us, I think in a lot of ways, was larger than what the PlayStation 3 was capable of. The tech of the PS5, it's like an open box of, of tools and goodies that we can play from and draw from. The 4K, HDR, improved haptics, 60 frames, help us to reimagine The Last of Us. It gave us opportunities to rebuild our characters at the highest fidelity. Not only are the characters more detailed, I mean down to the, the irises and the pupil depth. You know, you fall into the eyes of the characters. Aside from that, the facial animation is just way more believable. Like all the nuances, all the little subtle reactions, glances, glares, right? Like you get all of it almost closer to sort of the original performances. So no matter what, you stick to me like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Got it. Good. Good. We are able now to not only just have the highest fidelity characters in the cutscene, but also in gameplay, it's the same character, so now we can do these seamless transitions in and out. Every part of the game has benefited from seamless transitions and emotional scripting. Pretty good, huh? Our stories happen in gameplay, on a stick. She knew my mom. All this stuff is designed to keep you constantly in this world. Riley, come here. Now you got this, go. 